<laughs> I always get asked. <laughs> um, if I were president, um, uh, the first thing I would do is address a twin problem in the supply and the demand side of the economy. I would engender faith in South Africa Inc. by running, by prioritizing projects that would make South Africa run efficiently. Water, potholes, electricity, uh, all of the things that attract investment and create jobs. Um, I would address the supply problem by instituting a turnaround strategy for education, both basic and higher, um, which doesn't just address the cohort of people who are in school at the moment, but addresses the people who've been failed by the system and either dropped out before they got to matric or standard eight, or um, never went to school. So I would put in place um, training programs that would enable adults who've been failed by the education system or who have failed in the education system to acquire the skills to fill the skilled vacancies. And they're not just, you know, research analysts or whatever. It's like plumbers, you know, and engineers and, you know, water, you know, what, what, like basic skills that require training, that require um, artisanship, etc. Um, and build a skill space that can address the, the demand problem in the economy. So I want as many people as possible to feel the pleasure and the, the purpose of work. There aren't enough people who feel that in our country. And when you travel around South Africa today, you will meet people who are in their 40s who've never worked a day in their life. I want you to imagine what that's like. To imagine being a male, for example, and this will explain a lot of domestic violence in this country. If you're a man, age 45, you've never worked a day in your life. Your entire life has been about hustling for your next rand. What is that like? And until you can tap into the real hopelessness of waking up in the morning and not having anywhere to go, anything to do, um, you, you cannot address some of the broad, broad spectrum problems we have in our country. Social problems, um, not just economic problems. I think those two things, economic growth, education, 